on the new website. Let's get back to, you know what I mean? Let's check this out. That's a fact. We definitely got the streets. All right, so if y'all haven't heard, it's a new app that's running through Instagram. It's called Threads. It's Instagram's answer for Twitter or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's a lot of people that hasn't got over there yet, but one person that has, and it's official, is Smack White. Smack White took to Threads a couple days ago, six days ago, and says, it's battle rap dead. Then he puts up a little bit of unreleased footage of stack bundles that's going to be in the Smack documentary I keep hearing about, which is with Tay Rock and all that. Then he says, the coach should be feeding into these fake-ass narratives, shaking my head, laugh out loud. These dudes that the fans be cheering for are not real. Time to expose everything. Hashtag stay tuned. Then Smack says, I don't know why Battle MC still feel like coming at me and they performance still brings excitement. It's getting old now. Y'all got to come up with some new-ish LMAO. Hashtag respectfully. I feel like I got to do a shameless plug for me and Anwar new show. Respectfully, we going to be bringing that to y'all rapid fire, so stay tuned. But Smack is not feeling all these rounds that keep going baby viral by taking shots at him and all that, man. So he putting y'all on notice. Then he says, we got to start reinstalling the credibility of this battle rap culture. We got to start holding battle rappers, bloggers, and media outlets accountable for their actions and performances when they do say and post lame ish. We going to start canceling them. No more passes with a whole bunch of hundred emojis. Now, somebody responds to that and says, is you crazy? The whole URL need to be held accountable for they lame stuff y'all do to artists, battle rappers, bloggers, and media. You cheap a enters do your own kind of dirty. Now you talking about credibility? Enter, please. Y'all losing the respect. Y'all said people can't copy and y'all mad. Do right by your folks. Your approach ain't going to do nothing but make it worse than it already is for the URL. Smack with an ether response says, you're part of the 85% that's dumb, deaf, and blind. You talk as if you really know what goes on behind the scenes of the business. You a sheep that follow the flock, believe in fabricated stories you hear. When these dudes run and cry on the internet telling 20% of a story or situation, you don't see the private conversation when they apologize for the misunderstanding and their wrongdoings. Mm. Y'all be apologizing? You have not seen me address or respond to any situations on the internet, and that's why people like you got it effed up. But don't worry, it's a new day. I'm here. Somebody else says, y'all the ones that got it effed up with that caffeine deal. Should we start by canceling caffeine? Smack says, caffeine gave the world access to content for free for three years. You bugging. I disagree with your statement. And then the last thread he wrote says, as fans of an art form that piques your interest and entertains you, you should want to support it and nurture it so it can grow. The battle rap culture has become its own industry. I see some fan complaining about content being behind the paywall or wanting battles on youtube when it doesn't generate money so yeah i guess that's where smack gonna be talking his talk man he definitely talking his talk i definitely reached out to make sure that was smack and it is man so at the end of the day what y'all think about smack's thoughts man he putting them on threads i guess he said forget twitter forget instagram he gonna try this news on now yeah you know i mean but for smack to usually be so quiet on all this to take to social media to say his thoughts like that yeah you know i mean i wonder what made him do that man let me know what y'all think in the comments is battle rap trap we got the streets Shout out to mm, 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 mm. Now, now, y'all, now, y'all, shout out to everybody. Hit that like button. Make sure you comment and subscribe. Make sure you hit that motherfucking notification bell. You never know when I'm going to laugh. So now, let me ask y'all this. How do y'all feel about some of the things that Smack was actually saying? Sko, what up? Because oh, how you feel about it? Uh, yo, we've been talking about this for a minute. Um, Battle rap has been... It's been thriving, and then it's been like taking two steps forward and five steps back. You got a lot of shit with, you know, you know, everybody knows the controversy. Oh, I was supposed to battle over here. You know, he dubbed me over here. And then the the content they putting out on URL is not as great. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know, you got block battles over here that can't happen over here that probably would have been fired, but they can't happen because URL is blocking them, but they pushing their own artists, and then it's fucking up. Like we don't really want to see all that, you know what I'm saying? So when shit get when, when you start getting the kickback, when you know what I'm saying, it's like a cause and effect. And I mean, mm. he probably getting fed up with it, but you you made that bad. So let me ask you this though, you know what I mean? Because in all actuality, you know what I mean, shit be real. Shout out to you. Shout out to Quad for surviving the slander on ten toes. Yeah. Shout out to. Why? I don't even know what ten toes at no more, man. I've been nigga, I've been nigga, I feel like I got a surviving URL story, you heard? That's a fact. I got a surviving URL story of my own, motherfucker. But I will say this. I feel like I agree with some of the shit Smack was saying. And I'm not gonna lie. You know what I mean? And and one of the main things I agreed with is that everybody gotta be accountable. So you know. If we talking about battlers, league owners, media, whatever, everybody got to be held accountable, especially if niggas find themselves in a situation where they know they ain't, you know what I mean? Yeah, I survived too real for battle rap too. Facts. 
You know what I mean? But it's like, especially if you know you done did wrong, you got to hold it down. Nigga, I can't even do wrong and feel right acting as if I didn't do something wrong. That shit bothered a nigga. Like, <sighs> nah, I got, I got to get this off. You know what I mean? But not with these niggas. So these niggas sit there and put themselves in situations. But it's not just, and that's why I said I agree with Smack to an extent, because he's right. To an extent, a lot of people do a lot of things that niggas don't hold themselves accountable for. There's a lot of people that probably around that shouldn't be around, and we all know that. You know what I'm saying? There is people that be lying and saying a narrative that is making things worse. Like, like you know, just me being in my experience now, I'm, it, I can actually sit there and understand that mind frame. But the crazy part is to know that smack deep down, you got to understand the situation and the position that you are real has put themselves in. Talking you and the team. Y'all niggas have put yourself in a situation to be, or the position rather, to be the number one motherfucking league in the world for years and years and years. At some point, right, y'all decided that it was no longer making sense to make the battles make sense for the people. Y'all didn't care what the battle the people wanted to see after a moment. After time and time and time, nigga, after all these years and years and years, y'all just start giving us the battles y'all wanted to give niggas. What made sense for who? For you or for them or for whoever. So when you sit there and say you're going to start coming at niggas and all that, the first person you got to start off with coming at is yourself. Pause. Because y'all niggas created a lot of this shit that's going on now. Y'all got to remember, y'all niggas is the reason why niggas is talking shit about y'all. It ain't the fans. It ain't the media. It ain't the bloggers, nigga. It's the battle rappers that y'all got. The battle rappers over there is upset. They're just becoming more and more boisterous now, but they've been not happy with you niggas. But y'all act as if y'all niggas is not privy to that. Smack, you upset because niggas got rounds about you? My nigga, niggas been rapping about you, Smack, and I feel like it's okay if you tired of it. But are you mad, my nigga, because these shits has been going viral? Because these niggas is having these rounds with niggas and these shits is going viral. They going viral. Twerk did that shit with you when he battled sick. It went viral. Classic. None of them just got crazy. It went viral. And there's so many more people. So in all actuality, it's like, you know, nigga... Shit is not looking the greatest, but you don't got to start acting as if you're going to start going over at niggas and you're going to start canceling niggas and all of that. But I ain't here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to give you my public opinion. You know what I mean? But in all actuality, there's a lot of fault that niggas need to take into consideration. A lot of accountability needs to be had. And when and if you're going to be honest... And that's another thing. Everybody talk about nigga keeping it real, keeping it real. Y'all know why I be keeping it real when it be different when Kwa keep it real? Because Kwa is honest. These niggas be keeping it real and be lying. That's not keeping it real. How can you say you keeping it real if you're not even honest? That's not keeping it real. So you got a lot of these niggas that's not even keeping it real acting like they keeping it real. But in all actuality, y'all got to be able to see through the mirages and all of that, the facades and all of that. But smack, for you to feel like you want to cancel niggas out and all that, you want to start doing that, nigga, take your best shot. I ain't got no issues with you, but nigga, take your best shot. You know what I mean? And I ain't even talking about myself. I'm just saying as far as what you plan on doing, exposing whoever, I heard behind the scenes about niggas too. Niggas can't get in these events. Hip hop is real. Shout out to Knowledge Born, you know what I mean? Not, not I mean, no bars in them. Know what I mean, like, I've been hearing a little shit like that too. Now niggas is having issues getting into these events. Why? Because niggas is upset by how niggas is carrying it. This is 2023. It is a new year and a new day in battle rap. It's a new day in battle rap, and if y'all haven't noticed, 2023 is the year of no fucking horse plant. If y'all ain't noticed, y'all. This nigga, niggas is getting their ass beat at events. Niggas, yo, it's all types of shit going down. Niggas is getting exposed. Niggas is doing all types of shit. Nigga, we got fucking smack coming out beefing. Nigga, this the year no horse playing. Niggas is tired of horse playing, y'all. Amen. 
You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody in the building, man. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Yo, but bro, absolutely. What's up? You got a question? Go ahead, bro. So people um, want me to drop the link. Y'all want me to drop the link? All right, chat. I got y'all. Hold on. Let me drop the link for the people, man. I see the people want to get active, man. I'll stick around for a little bit longer. Pause. What's up, Sco? Ask you a question. So you ever heard anybody from U Dub complaining about their endeavors with the league or like ball pen or uh RBE, like 